Hi, my name is Bill Kovalchuk, and I'm the president and co-founder of Claret Asset Management. This is the third and final part of our series on how Claret practices value investing. Traditional value investing is buying a company stock at a discount to its intrinsic value and having a margin of safety, a margin of error in case something goes wrong. We like companies that pass solvency tests, have free cash flow, and have sustainable gross margins. At Claret, we believe free cash flow is extremely important as it proves that a business model works and no external financing is required to maintain the business. Until your business produces free cash flow, all you have is an experiment that requires constant money infusions and the operations simply burns cash. But you need to ask, are growth and value companies completely different animals? Ideally, we want to buy a company at a discount to its intrinsic value that has growth characteristics. Over the years, such companies have included Dell and Paladin. These companies were growth companies, temporarily in the doghouse, and eventually recovered nicely and were taken private or taken over. Growth companies stumble for various reasons, such as obsolescence, new technologies, financial shenanigans, or new government policies. And then the stock price tends to fall dramatically. After they stumble and stabilize, some can become wonderful value picks, often referred to as fallen angels. Well-known companies that have cycled between value and growth and value again include Coke, Microsoft, Cisco, Intel, and most of the large pharmaceutical companies that have been around for a while. Markets are forward-looking. From a value investing perspective, a stock price equals the future cash flow of a company discounted over time. During these volatile periods, if our type of value investing makes sense to you, let us provide you with peace of mind and reach out to us today. Thanks and have a great day.